All right, guys, look, man, here we go. We're going to try to power through this uh, through this video here. We are right after the uh, blister, and if you can uh, see behind me and see around me, the uh, shack was inundated with snow, man. I had to just kind of shovel out. I got Pitmaster Molly right there to make sure everything goes good, and I got a special one out for you today. I am going to show you how to do the easiest, thinnest, thin crust pizza on the griddle that you could possibly do. All right, guys, look, man, what I'm gonna do for you today, I was gonna do three separate pizzas, but what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna do two. I'm gonna do a from scratch chicken parm and also a, a basic white pie. That's what we like to eat there, and that's what I'm gonna go with. Again, man, the conditions are a little bit shaky as there's an animal in the woods, man. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know what the heck that is, a snow animal or something. But anyway, I'm gonna bring you over here show you our uh, ingredients for the cook i've already got the uh, pit boss five burner griddle all fired up i'm going to try to play around with the i didn't do such a good job on a couple past videos as i'm just getting to know the griddle man because the griddle definitely gets hot man hotter than i seem to remember with the blackstone so i'm going to run all my uh three burners on the left side i'm going to run a medium to low and on the uh on the uh, right side, the two burners. I'm gonna go full low. I'll take some temp readings and adjust from there. Again, let me bring you over here. Let me show you the ingredients and we'll pick it up and we'll start griddling. Oh yeah. All right guys, so look, basically what I got here, you see that uh, fresh chicken tenders. I got breaded up. I like to do a 50-50 pank row and a, and a, a uh, regular breadcrumb. I'll show you a little B-roll footage on that. We got some polio. Get a good mozzarella cheese. Of course, my grater. We're going to got some uh, Parmesan over here. We got some basic pizza home style sauce. I didn't have enough time to get the uh, to get the uh, gravy out of the fridge. Usually that's what I do, but uh, freezer, but just didn't have enough time. I got some regatta. I got some fresh garlic. We got some oils and again, garlic back here, a little butter salt and pepper over here and i may have to run in the house and grab a couple uh a couple things but again i got the grill all fired up let's bring the cameras over there and let's get started on this chicken easy one of my favorite weeknight meals great for the kids great for adults you can all uh kind of pick your own pizza right so look, the only thing I want to point out here is to season up your flour and season up your breadcrumbs. That is the uh, that is the most important thing here. Otherwise, it is just your basic flour, egg, breadcrumb dip. <laughs> it's not really a dip. Oh yeah, there you go. So guys, look, moving right along. Remember, man. Pro tip: anytime you're using Blackstone. Pit Boss, any griddle that you're using, always hit it with that fresh coat of oil in the beginning of the cook. At that point, we want to get our chicken tenders down. Remember, I am pretty low all the way across the board. Now look, just like a saute pan, you got to get some oil down. That is going to help the browning. That is going to help the cooking. So get a little veg oil down. Guys, three, four minutes, man. It doesn't take long and give them a peek. If you're browning out like that, flip them. Flip them. Guys, I want to go right into another pro tip here. You see some are cooking faster than others. So that is a hot spot, cool spot in the uh, griddle. So we're basically just going to move them around and switch them up. I mean, look, man, get some fresh honey mustard going, and this is a meal in itself. A little salt and pepper down never hurt. Again, we are pretty low across the board. Again, a little oil down to help the uh, cooking process. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Another little trick here, this is your regular big pot top, and they usually fit perfect for this and also for the pizzas. If you don't have one of this, your uh, dome or close the lid. Now look, you're probably less than a less than a minute on that lid time there, and you just want to keep checking the uh, tenders and make sure that they're not burning. Oh man, now look, man, that's just about perfect. And look, you could use a uh, little T monitor to check your temp. Sometimes I like to just cut them up and take a look. Total cook time for this bad boy is here. We're about seven, eight minutes or a little less. Guys, another pro tip. Anytime you introduce new foods to the uh, griddle, Wipe all your old foods off, get a little fresh oil, and wipe it in. Oh yeah, that's a snow rack. Oh yeah. All right guys, man, we are going uh, five burners, all of them set to low. We're about 400, four and a quarter across the board. I think that's good enough. I'm gonna chop up this chicken and get it ready. I got all my ingredients here. So, hey man, let's build a couple pizzas. I like to introduce a little butter to the griddle. Get your uh, shells on, get some butter on the bottom of them and start building your pizzas. So look, little pro tip here. If you're not comfortable building the, uh, the pizzas on the griddle, you could build them off to the side and just move them on the griddle as you uh, finish up. But we will start with a little pizza sauce down. Then we will get that uh, chicken down. That is a little Parmesan cheese. And now we will uh, try a uh, Great, hey, little mozzarella cheese on the uh, pizza. You can see the struggle is definitely real. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is so cold out. The cheese is probably uh, frozen. No big deal. We will just uh, rip off chunks and get it on the pie. There you go. And you saw on that one shell, we had a little bit too much browning too fast. We will uh, move that off to the side. We will get some fresh basil on our chicken parm pizza, and we will just go from there. And there you go. Now I did turn off my uh, right side burners. I'm gonna keep that as the uh, cool zone. We got that fresh cheese down. We got some grated fresh garlic down and of course some regatta cheese down. We are building a uh, white pie my way. and a little fresh tomato down, why not? Oh yeah, there you go. And always definitely you wanna keep checking those bottoms of your uh, tortillas. That is a tortilla. And that there is some fresh junk mozzarella. Only closing the top for uh, less than a minute. And look, I forgot to get a little granulated garlic down. And that, to me, is a must. Oh, yeah, you know it. Oh. Here you go. Play to win. Play to win. 
Guys, don't forget, man, keep checking your bottoms. Again, I'm going to utilize a cover to a large pan, and that kind of helps the uh, melting process. And I'll also close the uh, hood. Oh, yeah. That is chicken parm to end all chicken parm. So again, we are looking good on that white pie. The uh, parm needs a little bit more heat on the bottom. So flip, flop them, a cool zone, a warm zone. There you go. Oh man, oh, that's per perfect though. Guys, remember, feel your tortilla when it's getting a little bit of crispy and the bottom is browning up like that, or even a little bit more. It is time to pull them off. Oh, yeah. At this point, what we'll do, we'll get these pizzas off. We will get them on the board. And then it is taste test time and some closing thoughts. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, look, man, that was definitely a, a fun cook. The the, uh, the rule of thumb here, man, was low all the way across the board. I even had the uh, right side, two burners as a cool spot. You can see I kept that one pizza over there cool, keeping it cool, and then I rotated them as I uh, used the cover to cover the up other one. So you'll figure it out, man. This thing definitely gets hot. You would think these are overcooking on the bottom, but they are... Uh, they're crunchy and they're perfect, trust me, man. And look, if, you, if, if one's getting a little too warm, a little too hot for you, you can always just take it off the grill and just put it, put it away. I mean, these things are cheap. Um, other than that, that's it, man. Really, it's important to have all your ingredients together. If you have all your ingredients ready to go, it is throwing the tortillas on. Bang, 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 bang. Getting that sauce on, getting all the uh, fixings on, whatever you want to make you know, 10 minutes or so, and you are done. These are thin, crust, crispy, and uh, <laughs> like I said, man, the sky's the limit, man. I got a uh, chicken parm here and a uh, just a white here. I'm going to just take a slice of the white. This is dinner tonight. I got Molly over there. Just a little, just a little cut, man, that's all. Oh, yeah, that little sliver. And you could see the uh, little brown, man, but hey, that's what you want, man. You want it crispy. That's why I left that one. I think I left, things were moving fast. And like I always say, cheers. You know, what can I say, man? These are as good as anything you put on it. Any toppings you want that you put on it, man, that's how good these things are. That garlic that I sprinkled on towards the end man that is key man if you like garlic man because that is uh is man that is it for this one this is a must make again definitely want to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because you're not going to want to miss what i got coming up and trust me man i got a lot of stuff coming up until next time we will see you soon